for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I like all things modular. And several years ago, I came out with this little thing. This is my tactical jolt. I took a jolt, I added a stock attachment point from out of darts, a barrel lug from, I think, a long shot, and then just some random 3D printed rail. So I can now put a barrel on it, I can put a stock on it, I can put rail attachments on it, Obviously, you'd need to load it using a, uh, a ramrod or take the barrel off, but um, the, the number one comment that I got, and I, I still get it to this day several years later, is that I should make it take a magazine, which is obviously highly impractical. However, Carl from Galactic Creations decided it was a great idea, and he did it. And uh, these are ridiculous and magnificent. Uh, they take Talon magazines. They are bolt action. You've got the bolt little handle there that loads the darts and then it just primes from the bottom and it fires. It doesn't fire particularly well. I mean, it is a jolt firing from a kind of a sealed breech. Um, but, uh, and these are even the Alpha Strike jolts, so they're even a little bit uh, but oh, you could put a, a spring up grade, and I think it was getting like 30 FPS. So this one's obviously not remotely practical. This one, however, is built out of a big shock, which has a much larger plunger tube. Um, and so this one is big enough. It does have a stock attachment point on there. It does have full top rail here, and then the barrel actually has rail going all the way around, very similar to my uh, proud Papa barrel attachment. So. I hypothetically could these attach those to this, though I don't know that I think it's stout enough. This section actually might be. I might be able to do one on either side, but it might then get in the way of the breech. But anyway, it's got rail on all sides, so you could attach all sorts of things to it. It also has the same breech system, takes talon mags, and being a big shock that I have put a much heavier spring in, uh, it hits about 90 FPS, which is actually you know, not horrible. It's still ridiculous and impractical, of course, because the bottom prime and the bolt slide and all of that, but it's just really, really cool. Uh, and I will have all the links to where uh, you may eventually be able to get these again. I believe they're currently on hiatus, uh, but he's got an Etsy shop and, and hopefully we'll eventually have those available again. So yeah. They're neat. It's it's all it's a whole bunch of 3D printed parts that are attached on. There's only a couple of screws that are used. Most of the rest just uses uh, 3D filament as pins. Though you could also just use uh, finishing nails, which is what I did for a couple of sections that I wanted to be a little bit stouter. I just forced finishing nails in and then clipped them off, uh, and it worked really really nice. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a silly silly build, but I enjoy it immensely. Um, I, I will pro I'm hoping I will actually remember to run them in the next event that we have here, which will be in August. We just had one last weekend. Uh, and I, I do hope to do a range day video on Wednesday featuring a whole bunch of the silly blasters that I've been sent. Because I've been sent a lot of really neat blasters that I've never actually fired for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to do a range day just all of sent blasters and that should be, that should be a lot of fun. Hopefully the weather behaves itself. All right, anyway, my thanks to Carl at Galactic Creations. Uh, and, and check them out, because they're they're fun. And they could definitely use some tweaking, and I might be able to get a little bit more power out of this one. This one, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the performance on, so. There you have it. Nice short little video. Firing on Wednesday. Thank you for watching. <laughs>